Hey, it's Joe, and we are back to square one. I originally started this channel talking about being a binge eater, and here we are again, but I am not a binge eater. <clears throat> and I thought it would be good to um, just make a few videos about binge eating for anybody out there that feels they need support, because it's a really, really um, powerful affliction. It's powerful in, in many, many ways, and... I feel if I can do anything in my power to help people overcome that affliction quicker than they might on their own, then that's a win for me. The interesting thing about binge eating is that it is an actually it's an opportunity to find your empowerment. It's an incredible journey of self-discovery and the, the kind of things that you have to understand about yourself to become free are really profound. And the good news is they can be applied to many areas of life. It's actually quite a transformation and an incredible adventure. Now, if you've ever found yourself in an uncontrollable binge, seemingly unable to stop, filling your face with food and regretting every minute of it, you may not see binge eating as this great, wonderful adventure and pathway to empowerment, but it is because when you, come, when you understand what you must become, to control that urge, then you realize that's where the power lies. The reason for this is that binge eating isn't just eating a bit more food one day. It's a very complex psychological, biological, and sociological affliction. It, it's working on, on many levels. To fall into the trap of binge eating, you probably need to have the right physiology meaning that you're very responsive to the stimulation that food, modern food, imparts. And this means being things like dopamine upregulated or serotonin upregulated, just meaning that you respond to the food more powerfully than other people. I remember when I was hanging out with a guy that has no food issues whatsoever, and he would eat something delicious, and there'd be almost no response. And I would eat it and be like, oh my God, this is heaven. And it's that overwhelming response that is the foundation for people who become binge eating. Then on top of that, there is your psychology and how you are in the world and what kind of things are happening to you. That reward, that biological reward, is going to have a lot more importance and carry a lot more weight if you're somebody who is feeling distressed or depressed, right, naturally. And then there's social, sociological. A lot depends on the environment you live in, what type of bodies are acceptable what kind of pressures are you under you're more likely to become a binge eater if you're a ballerina or a, a kickboxer who's constantly cutting weight than you are if you're a pizza maker and you live in a place where it's completely fine to be as fat as you like there's not the same pressures there so those three things that's quite simplified but those three things interact together and binge eating is an emergent response it's something that happens as a result of that. There isn't really any direct correlation for any one part, but it's an emergent property from those three factors. And the impact of binge eating can be extremely severe on your self-esteem, your social life, the way that you um, are treated in the world, your income level, the jobs that you have, the partners that you have, the friendships that you have. It affects your health. It affects how just everything in your life that you can imagine is affected by binging and this is why it's absolutely critical that you really become committed to overcoming this affliction because it's just so debilitating for me it just took away it took away my career i was a high flying goldman sachs banker i had to quit because my binging was so out of control i ended up um getting so fat literally a hundred pounds heavier than i am now a hundred pounds heavier than i am now it broke my relationships it made me feel just what's the point at, at some stages in my life. And uh, I, I really felt that I was going mad. Like when you have these cravings or you just said to yourself, I'm never eating that again. And two minutes later, you're eating it again. Or you're sitting there saying, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. And you don't. Or you're walking to go and get your binge food and you can't stop yourself going there. It's like your shoes have taken over a life of their own and they're just going down the street and you can't stop it. It is so perplexing, it's so overwhelming and at times scary. But I'm hoping through 
you know, these series of videos that I can help anybody out there who's looking for support to just relax, take your time, and know that there is a solution. The key thing to understand about binge eating, and I'll leave you with this because I want to make these videos pretty short. The key thing to understand about binge eating is it's just an urge. There's lots of things that surround binge eating. There's lots of complex analyses. There's many books on the topic. There's many teachers on the topic. But what I discovered in my own life is when you boil it down, a binge eating episode is started by an urge. If you didn't have the urge, you wouldn't binge eat. So the whole skill with learning how to manage your urges is to manage, how to manage your binge eating is to manage that urge. You, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where you confront it. And I'll be giving you tips and techniques on how to do that. But that is the crux of this. So whatever you've heard about binge eating, whatever you've read about binge eating, whatever you've seen on other channels about binge eating, just know that the, the, the interface between your biology, sociology, and your um, psychology, and being a binge eater, the interface is just that urge. Now that urge is very powerful, and there's a lot inside that urge, so I'm not undermining it, I'm just bringing your focus to what really matters. You have an urge to binge, and that is where your growth will begin. So I hope you enjoyed the short video and I will be back with more. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.